Thank you, Mark. That was, that was as good as it was in our rehearsal of that. <laughs> well, welcome to the Ripton Community Coffee House here in Lincoln. Um, I want to just start tonight to acknowledge um, the passing of one of the great Vermont musicians, um, which is Pete Sutherland. And um, he was no stranger to the Ripton Community Coffee House. He played here many times. Um, and he also has been at the Middlebury Festival on the Green a number of times, including appearing this last uh, festival this past summer, where he was accompanying um, a person he was mentoring. One of the great things about Pete is that he really cared about other people and other musicians, especially young musicians. So he was with Young Tradition um, here in Vermont, uh, mentoring a lot of different musicians over the years. He um, actually uh, helped me with, with some of my stuff and um, was on a couple of my albums. And he um, just was such an amazing presence in the entire music scene here in Vermont and beyond. So he's going to be dearly missed. So I just wanted to, you know, the elephant in the room, I didn't, didn't want to let that go without being noticed. But yeah, he will be missed. So now I'm going to talk about something else altogether different. The, uh, so the Ripton Community Coffee House in Lincoln here is kind of a strange little misnomer, you know, because it should be the Lincoln Community Coffee House, I suppose. But we are still rooted in um, Ripton as a coffee house. So we are actually going to be doing something different. At the end of this, this season, which is going to actually end in May, we are going to stay here for this, for, until May. And then there's going to be another music series that's going to be happening here that is going to be um, Burnham Hall Presents. And that's going to be happening on the first Saturday of the month, starting in September. And there's going to be a the Ripton Community Coffee House is going to move back to Ripton. So this is going to get really confusing, so pay real close attention now. <laughs> so the Ripton Community Coffee House is moving back to the um, Ripton Community House, and it's going to be a sporadic sort of coffee house. So instead of being always the first Saturday of the month, it's going to be an occasional concert series. So it's probably going to do maybe five, four or five shows a year. So it's going to be on a smaller scale, but there's going to be, stay, continuing here, um, a music series just as pretty much as you're seeing it now. It's just not going to be called the Ripton Community Coffee House. It's going to be Burnham Hall Presents. Now, here's the really tricky thing. <laughs> you, we've been telling people all along, if you sign up, you know, we have always pass around these, these clipboards, and there's a piece of paper there, and you can put your... your um, name and your email address down, and we will put you on our mailing list. And then we have our little free, dra free raffle that we do in during the intermission. And we've always told you we will never sell or give away your mailing info. <laughs> and that continues to be true. However, if you want to be on the mailing list for the music series that's going to be continuing here, on those little pieces of paper that get passed around, in addition to putting your name and your email address, if you want to be on the mailing list, our mailing list, or any of the mailing lists, also put the word yes. <laughs> the word yes will mean you do want to be on the music series that's going to be here's mailing list. Everybody got that? Any questions? Raise your hands. <laughs> Well, you've signed up for the Ripton Community Coffee House mailing list. This is a totally new mailing list. So you're going to be on two mailing lists, one for the concert series happening here, and you'll continue to be on the one that's going to be occasional concerts happening in Ripton. So there you have it. <laughs> and you can always unsubscribe, you know, just reply unsubscribe to any of the emails that you get from us 
or the new concert series that's actually sort of kind of in a way kind of us as well. <laughs> I told you it was confusing, right? <laughs> They, they, I, I won't speak about t-shirts at this time. I've already confused people enough. Okay, so I think I've probably talked enough. I'll show of hands for people who think I've talked enough. Okay, <laughs> excellent. <laughs> so the real reason everybody's here is because we have this amazing musician who has uh, got another Grammy, Grammy uh, nomination, I understand, for his guitar album that he's just come out with. Um, yeah. <laughs> So I think that's all I need to say about him. It is Mr. Bruce Molsky. Thank you. I'm just as confused as the next. But it's great to be here at the Rutland Coffee House. acoustic music. Played through a sound system. Y'all doing okay tonight? Yeah. Thank you for coming out. This is wonderful.
so much. There's just three old time fiddle tunes. The first one's called The Scolding Wife. And uh, the second one's Sandy River and the third from the great, uh, those of us who kind of nerd out on this music, especially for a long, long time. We kind of fall in love with the music of people like Ed Haley, and he was from Eastern Kentucky, and that was his version of The Lost Indian. And that whole set of tunes and everything else tonight is going to be in memory of Pete, because he was a, a pal of mine for 40 years, and I, so you, you don't need to be told what a great inspiration he was to so many people on so many levels, and he's going to be missed. And, uh, and, and you know, I was thinking about Usually I start for the first vocal number of a show with some kind of tragedy song, you know, and I get to choose between like the, the train wreck or the cattle stampede or the shipwreck. But uh, I think Pete would have preferred a drinking song because we had a lot of beers together. So I'm not going to do any of that stuff. I'm going to do the drunkard's hiccups. <laughs>
Gonna eat when I'm hungry I'm gonna drink when I'm dry Get to feeling much better I'm gonna sprout wings and fly Jack of diamonds, jack of diamonds I know you from old Rob my poor pockets of silver and gold Some things are best done closer to the ground. And playing the guitar is, for me, a lot safer. I do have a new uh, guitar recording out, and I'm excited about it. And uh, it's all finger style guitar, and that's been kind of my, my pandemic project, if you will was revisiting my first instrument. And uh, I'll play you a little something that's on it. It's a great sounding room. It's like yeah. playing in a big wooden box. Baby, baby, bye. 
bye-bye If I don't see you no more God bless you everywhere you go Bye-bye, baby, baby, bye-bye If I don't see you no more God bless you everywhere you go that started out its life as a as kind of a almost a Tin Pan Alley song I guess but made its way into the kind of into the mountain music repertoire and got the phrases so twisted up it can't be sung anymore so I just play it on the banjo it's called The Wandering So uh, a lot of what I'm playing for you tonight is dance music, and uh, with a little bit of real estate here, I'd be really careful. <laughs> Some of 
these students get chased around from place to place and everybody that you meet the beauty of the oral tradition is that everybody plays everything their own way and so i've been i've been kind of a self-professed bonaparte street streetologist for many years <laughs> so i like to play my two, my two favorite versions this week <laughs> First one comes from a, a fiddler who's I knew I'd be jealous of him before I even heard the recording of him record this in 1928 because he had a name that I I wish I had I wish I was Ahaz Augustus Gray. <laughs> <laughs> That's right up there with like Thaddeus Willingham and Theophilus G. Hoskins and Enos Kanoy. <laughs> I wake up in the morning and I look in the mirror and there's Bruce Molsky. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, here's A.A. A. Gray's beautiful kind of about the most soulful version of, of Bonaparte's treat that I know and the other the, the one after it uh, will be uh, the second one. <laughs>
retreat and Bonaparte's retreat. And, and the second version, uh, auto, if, if you listen to any classical music at all, you'd recognize it as the melody that Aaron Copeland lifted for Hoedown. And, uh, but it was recorded in 1937 for the Archive of Folk Song in the Library of Congress. And the rumor is that one of the reasons he picked that melody, besides it being really cool, was because it was in the public domain and he didn't have to pay royalties. <laughs> I don't know if that's true. I'm talking about school. So here's the thing. I, uh, when I recorded this uh, guitar album that Richard mentioned, I... I wanted to do a couple of pieces on on resophonic guitar, which is a national steel body guitar. I didn't own one at that time, but I borrowed one from a dear friend and uh, put a couple of tracks of that on there and fell in love with the idea and the concept and how just muscular this thing is. And I ended up buying my own. <laughs> and if you're an instrument geek like I am, it's a 1938. More information available during the break. <laughs> but this next piece was probably re was recorded right around the time this guitar was built, which is kind of cool. And it's uh, called the Boogie Woogie Dance. <laughs> Pals 
used to say here's a tune you may never have never have heard but have always enjoyed southern states move north to work in the defense plants uh, to support the war effort as they had to. And um, they moved to places like Detroit and it was a, a, a real cultural collision. And in fact, there's a, a beautiful novel um, written about a family that experienced that whole thing called The Dollmaker and I would really recommend it. Uh, written by Harry Arno in 1954. It's a great read. Um, but uh, Craig kind of wrote 
just about that and he was a great songwriter so i love to sing that for you it has kind of what we call an internal refrain it's a really sad song it's kind of hard asking people to sing along with something it's really kind of sad but it's still kind of fun to sing it and all you need to know is uh is the lyrics are just a way down the road you'll get it by the end of the first verse and there's only 83 verses so <laughs> I remember back in 33 when we was still in Tennessee. Just getting by took all your time away down the road. Then the word went out in 41 and Uncle Sam said get the big job done. And we all hired out to Willow Run away down the road. <laughs> Blow your whistle up through the pines and out across the mountains and the clinch field line blow for better times away down the road now we come from the hills and the damn coal mines started into working on henry's lines eight hours steady and over time away down the road but the folks up north didn't want us round they moved us out to the edge of town Shoebox houses on the bulldoze ground away down the road. Blow your whistle up through the pines and out across the mountains and the clinch field line. Blow for better times away down the road. Now we're strong backs bending in the welder's light, rivet guns pounding on a windy night. Rich man's war and a poor man's fight away down the road. Well, you punch in, punch out, make your time, and steady with the turret boys, you're getting behind. And the bombers roared out o'er the blacked out skies away down the road. Blow your whistle up through the pines and out across the mountains and the clinch field line. Blow for better times away down the road. Now you're trying to pay the rent man, trying to save a buck, patching up the tires on a wore out truck, while all the city folks pass with all their hay can tuck away down the road. Well, we'll move back south when the war gears down, but your dreams die easy when your check comes around. And you're caught between the mountains and a factory town away down the road. Blow your whistle up through the pines and out across the mountains and the clinch field line. Blow for better times away down the road. Now the plants shut down, the gates all closed, the new cars rust in the rain and snow. Let me sleep where the gun stick laurel grows away down the road. You can bury me back in Tennessee. He lived for a dollar, let my tombstone read, and died unknown in a strange country away down the road. Blow your whistle up through the pines and out across the mountains and the clinch field line. Blow for better times away down the road. Blow your whistle up through the pines and out across the mountains and the clinch field line. Blow for better times away down the road. Okay. Thanks for seeing me. Thank you. Y'all doing all right? I'm having a conundrum. I can't decide what to play next. I know what I want to play next. No offense to you. <laughs> they won't talk to me all the way on the ride home, so. <laughs> without speed bumps. 
fretless banjo. These these fret looking things are flush. This was built in the 1880s. Consequently, it takes a second to tune it. <laughs> so far. It really, is, it really is great to be here with you all. Um, thank you for supporting music in your community again. And thank you for being safe and making it possible. Um, we know we're coming out of some trying times. We still got a little work to do, but it's just so great to be in the room with you. Yeah. I do have a, I do have a, a nice selection of recordings and stuff back there. Um, my new guitar CD is there, some of my previous projects, solo projects, band stuff. 
I have tote bags. <laughs> not kidding. They're cool. I use them all the time. I also have a brand new thing, and, and those of you who know me uh, know that I, I'm really into old fountain pens, and uh, I never leave home without one. And I even have shirts that they haven't leaked into. And, uh, <laughs> but I have some really, my new CD is called Everywhere You Go, and we have some Everywhere You Go disposable fountain pens. <laughs> and if you'd like to check them out, come back and tell me what you think of it. I'll be back there during the break. But uh, thank you for coming. I'll be back with another set of music and promise not to play anything in the second set that I played in the first set, <laughs> unless I forget. So. <laughs> Thanks for listening. All this is fun. <laughs> Snacks downstairs, too. Don't miss that. I ate most of them, but I left some for you. <laughs> okay, so here's a set of tunes from the little-known border region of North Carolina and Finland. <laughs> Down the road, down the road, I gotta shoot a bit down the road. 
Down the road, down the road, I gotta shoot me down the road. Thank you. Stick around. teas and coffees and lemonade and stuff downstairs so take a walk and we'll see you in a little while and there's a basket if you want to throw something in there it helps keep us going so thanks
go, okay, <laughs> you need to go up.
Call yourself a musician. No, I don't. <laughs> don't. Don't get that ranch. <laughs> hey there, folks. Well, if you've been to the coffee house before, you know that this is the exciting time when you can win fabulous prizes. I, I also want to say um, thank you so much for spending your evening with us because. It, we can't do it without you, and we so appreciate you being here. And uh, one of our raffle prizes is going to be a, a pair of tickets to a show, whatever show you want to go to. So. Okay. And let's do Duel and Great Irish Band. Got that one? Okay. So this is going to be for a CD by Doolin, a great Irish band, I've just been told by Beth. So fun. So fun. <laughs> All right. And the winner is... Beth Duquette. No, no, it isn't. <laughs> We're not allowed to do that, and I don't fill them out. Rick Selter. Rick Selter, are you here? Oh, oh my gosh. Hey, come on up here. This band is so fun. <laughs> okay, and then, oh. I w I, this band is Na Nava or Nava, uh, wonderful band from Iran, and uh, we were trying to bring them to the states, and we're still trying. But um, this beautiful CD. Okay, here you'll hold that. I will hold that. You'll notice she is not looking. <laughs> we're professionals up here. Okay. Oh. There's a Honda CRV with its alarms going bananas outside. Did it shut off? Oh, the battery wore out. I have cables. I think Is we it need blank? To, it's, oh. it's blank. So, Les Blank, are you here, Les Blank? Okay. Oh, Les Blank. <laughs> Oh, Carrie Malloy. <laughs> it's her birthday. It's her birthday. Wow. Okay, so, and this is for the pair of tickets to a show of your choice. But it has to be part of the coffee house. <laughs> Liz Saslaw, <laughs> which is great because she comes all the time, so good for her. So I just want to say a couple things about what's coming up here. Um, you don't need to leave. You can you can stay. Um, is uh, next month, January seventh, Seamus Egan and Jan Falke, which is a really wonderful. Um, 
two amazing artists together here. Uh, and that's, that's the seventh, and it's on our website, and tickets are already on sale if you want to pick one up for that. Uh, tomorrow, uh, PM Sundays, uh, there's some cards up on the desk, but also a band called Honey Dew Drops are going to be there at 4 o'clock tomorrow afternoon at the Richmond Church. They were with us about nine years ago. They're great. And then, really great. And then also uh, on the 8th of this month is Brett and Kat do their holiday show here. And, uh, and the information is on the poster of the wall. And I think you can get tickets at seven days. So that's, that's it. And I just want to say how honored we are to have Bruce <laughs> with us here. We're just really grateful. And you want to say anything? <laughs> No, no, I don't want to. <laughs> so once again, Bruce Malski. I'm grateful. So grateful I'm going to play my banjo. gentleman walked up to me during the break and was noting that I play a lot of music from the Southern Appalachian Mountains. I don't want to make an, an assumption that you know all about that music, but the, the thing that kind of powers me, powers my music, a lot of it is music that came before radio and TV kind of made everything everywhere for everybody. And uh, I love the old dance tunes and, and, uh, and also having met some of the old folks that played it who are of a generation that, that isn't around anymore. And this one comes from a guy named Clyde Davenport. Lovely, incredible, grouchy guy that everybody loved dearly. He called this uh, Five Miles From Town. Thank you. Did you have a nice break? I love those 
10 minute breaks that go for 30 minutes. It's nice to see everybody. Thank you. You ready to sing one? Yeah. Great. You got your, had your desserts downstairs. You got that sugar thing happening. It's so good. So, uh, yeah, here's a, here's a song that was recorded in the 1920s by a, a group called the, uh, the Dixie Entertainers, led by a man named Earl Johnson, who was a classical violinist who decided better and went for the old time music. I gotta be careful, I teach in a music conservatory. It's all good. Um, and uh, it's kind of a love song. If you'll sing the chorus, you'll, you'll get it. Um, it's called The New Cut Road. And, and here's, the, I'll show you the chorus. She went down the new cut road, I went all around her. She sat down to button her shoes, right there's where I found her. So it's kind of a love song. <laughs> Try this. She went down the new cut road, I went all around her. Right there's where I found her. You're hired. There's a lot of problems. 
One is deciding that you're done with a piece. And if you go too far with it, I've discovered, and you write just a little too much, it turns out to be something that was written already. <laughs> and I managed to stop short on this one. And the other one is naming it. That said, I'll play you something that I wrote that is finished but doesn't have a name. <laughs> This is one of my favorite tunings because it anybody study the Doppler effect in high school? It's just it's just perfect. <laughs> The second tune in that set was uh, was not an original. It was one of the great Kentucky tunes um, called uh, "Glory in the Meeting House." So 
nice to return to some of the old favorites. Here's one of mine. to be played in a Celtic tradition, but was written by a bluegrass guitar player and ended up being covered by him and people like Jerry Douglas and, and it wasn't meant to go like the way I'm about to play it for you, but that's half the fun of it, you know.
have some wonderful colleagues at Berkeley College of Music where I teach. <clears throat> and alternate, you know, alternate tunings in Italian, all the, all the classical music terms are in Italian. The, the term for tuning non-standard is called scordatura. And my colleague uh, Beth Cohen and I are going to present, do a presentation on alternate tunings that we're going to call it scordaturism. <laughs> Here's one you can sing along with. Um, I think music lives, music doesn't, it, it, it's a great refuge, as it should be for us, but, but it's also, you know, we don't live in a vacuum. And, and one of my bandmates and dearest friends for many, many years, his name is Andy Irvine. If you're familiar with his music and his songwriting, to me, he's one of the most brilliant songwriters of our lifetimes. And this is what we do in the band together. It's one of his standards, and it has another chorus you can sing along with. But it's right in the middle, because Andy thought he was, you know, he, he's Woody Guthrie's biggest fan. And in fact, when he was a teenager in Ireland, he used to tour and bill himself as Woody Guthrie. I'm not sure how that went for him. But he stole a Woody Guthrie line in the middle of this, and I hope you sing it at the top of your lungs like I do, because it means something right now. And, and uh, the lyric line is, all you fascists bound to lose. <laughs> Never tire of the road. Thank you. 
a surprise. The smell of the dirty politician or the man with the greed in his eyes. One big union, that's our plan. And the IWW's your only man. The claims of discontent with man for the cause that never dies. Never tire the road. Never tire the rolling wheel. Never tire the ways of the world. to and attend the first and last annual Fiddles of the World gathering in Halifax, Nova Scotia. It was amazing. It never happened again. 400 fiddlers and fiddle fans crammed into a convention center hotel in Halifax. And, uh, and it was where I discovered this parallel universe of, of Canadian fiddling, all the regional styles and all the indigenous styles. And the one that really got me was Métis fiddling. Yeah. So I'd love to play a set of Métis fiddle music. You know, we talk about old time music in the Southern uh, and Appalachian music tradition. And uh, we call our music old time music and, and, and in the prairies of Canada, they call it old time music too. Mm -hmm. First tune is from a man named James Chichu. He's from James Bay, in the very, very northern part of Ontario. And uh, he lives in a little town called Moose Factory. <laughs> Can't make that up. We will follow with a couple of tunes from my pal John Arcan, who's from uh, northern Saskatchewan.
I'm playing with a bunch of stuff that's not on the set list tonight. And this, this is not on the set list, but it, I have to do it. I played a concert recently, and I like music from a lot of different places. And, and, uh, and I, I don't play very much music from Cape Breton. If you're not familiar with the Cape Breton fiddle tradition, it's very, very singular, strong style. It's really got, got to be played a particular way to be right for the dance. And, but I got this one Cape Breton tune that I really love. And I know I don't play it right. <laughs> and, I, and I announced it to the audience just like that. I said, I love this tune. I want to play it for you. I learned it from a man named Jerry Holland, somebody I really admired. And uh, just, I know some of you must be familiar with Jerry. Yeah. It was uh, incredible. But he showed me this tune. And he said, play it. I'm giving it to you. And, um, and so I announced it just like that in the concert. And I played it. At the end, end of the set, this woman comes up to me. And she says, uh, that was a really nice concert. Thank you very much. I enjoyed it. Um, uh, I'm from Cape Breton, you know, and I've been listening to this music all my life. And, you know, that, that Cape Breton tune you, that you played, she said, eh. <laughs> <laughs> help so in her honor, and I don't know her name, I'm going to play that tune. <laughs> in the audience. I just want to, I'd feel better now. <laughs> Got a couple more for you in the show here. What should I do? Anything you want to hear? Take it all. Take it all. Steel, steel guitar thing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. Whoa, okay. I'll start with pegging all. I'll get to what I can. music to celebrate, originally to celebrate the advent of the Industrial Revolution and the original text of the song, <clears throat> there's a guy who makes shoes, a cobbler, that's why the song is called Peg and All. And uh, in, the, in the original text he's happy about being replaced by machinery, um, but I decided the song was too happy so I rewrote it and made it sad. <laughs>
So, steel body guitar. This is a, a, I toured for a, for a time with two really amazing musicians, Elika Frizzell, who's a Swedish, pardon me, Swedish fiddler, and one of the great revivalists of Swedish traditional music, and her playing partner was a, a chora player, a master chora player, Grio from, from Casamas in southern Senegal, his name was Solo Sissoko. And uh, we went touring together, and I'd stand between them on stage trying to glue their two time signatures together. <laughs> and it was beautiful, beautiful music they made. And, uh, we recorded a CD together, and then it actually won a Swedish Grammy, which was very exciting. We lost Solo about three years ago to a terrible illness, and and so I took my kind of my favorite piece of music from the two of them, and uh, <clears throat> and put it together and in, into a guitar piece, which was nuts enough. Um, but I also get to sing in Mandinka. Does anybody speak Mandinka? <laughs> because I, I wish you did, because you'd be rolling in the aisles with laughter at my, my pronunciation. But the tune is about, it's called Kairaba, and it's, uh, and Kairaba is, was, a, is a, was a character, a peace, it translates to peace farmer. And Kairaba would travel around seeking evil people and trying to get them to change their ways. I just like the idea. Of 
This is on my new CD, by the way. Just saying. <laughs> again for coming out, for sharing this space. It's just been great to be with all of you tonight. I appreciate it. Thank you to the, uh, to the Burlington Coffee House. <laughs> no, seriously, thank you so much to, to, to Beth. Thanks to, uh, to Mark for making me sound louder and better than I really am. Please give him a hand at the same time. Richard for the nice words to his wife, 
Well, I didn't get to meet tonight, and I think her, her name is Andrea. She made a beautiful dinner, which I really enjoyed. And, uh, and those of you who brought those snacks from downstairs. If you follow me on social media, you'll note that I've, I've, I've posted something that my wife found. She said, uh, in, in celebration beginning of the holiday season, don't forget to set your scales back 15 pounds. <laughs> So let's see, I'll end with, uh, shall I, I hope. <coughs> Thanks to those of you who bought some of the stuff back there. There's thousands of CDs and fountain pens left. I'll be back there afterwards. Come over and say hello. Thank you all very much.
there. <laughs> I got it. I got it picked out. Oh. <laughs> How much time you got? Because I can always keep going. No problem. Let's see. Um, what is that? You just want to hear me tune this thing again. Bear with me. I already played you everything I know, so. Well, thank you also to the folks that have been listening on, on the stream here. Um, and I guess, Richard, you've been operating the, the buttons on that one. It's amazing. We never thought that we'd rely so much on being kind of in the same virtual place, you know, until the pandemic. And it's actually been kind of interesting that, that the ability to be together in kind of one kind of fake space <laughs> stuck around. So, to the person that asked for sail away, ladies, I hope you'll sing really loud. <laughs>
Thank you very much. Thank you.